Do you think that humans are naturally monogamous? Well, if you ask evolutionary psychologists, they will tell you that if you look at our two closest primates, the bonobos on one hand, whose motto is make love, not war, they have sex with any gender, any time. They're very low aggression. If anybody gets upset, they just uh, lick them in some way and life is happy. Then you look at the another, another end of the extreme where you've got chimpanzees. Uh, that's why I, know, I'm that's why I stopped again. <laughs> <laughs> so chimpanzees, of course, are very aggressive. They have a lot of sexual jealousy. One of the first thing they do if they come up on a mom with a baby is practice infanticide and kill the baby <gasps> so that oh, they can get access to her. So what are humans? Humans are not bonobos. Uh, we are not of uh, chimpanzees, we have a little bit of everything. However, we do have a legacy of sexual jealousy and we must be careful with that. This has just raised so many questions. <laughs> I don't no, even know where to start. We could talk all day. <clears throat> so, a lot so is Bonobo the lead singer of U2? <laughs> <laughs> but if we're a combination, does that mean we like to lick babies? Like, I mean, right. you know, a lot of people question why Sonia. polygamous couples don't just choose to stay single. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, humans are wired to bond, right? Long-term bonded people live longer, have better health, accumulate more wealth. So we're always, our natural inclination is to bond with another. I think what's mostly natural for humans is serial monogamy. In other words, in our hunter-gatherer past, we stayed together with one person long enough to get kids up on their feet, you know, maybe five to eight years because we have such a vulnerable time in early life where we need two people investing. And the reason the reason why we have such sexual jealousy and why polyamory doesn't work for most people is because if your partner has sex with somebody else, you could end up wasting time investing in someone else's genes by raising that child, right? And so that, even if you're not being polyamorous for reproductive purposes, unconsciously, you're jealous and you don't know why, and that's why. All right, Dr. Wendy, there was still so many, we could do a whole segment. No, I, and a half I feel of like it. I need therapy now. Well, you can always <laughs> see Dr. Wendy. <laughs>